Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Strategic Command World War 2 World at War where I declared war on the Soviet Union as the uh, Axis forces or to say better only as Germany but we actually get to go started uh, with uh, the biggest challenge uh, in the game yet so let's just uh, take a look here first and it seems like yeah I, I really want to go and destroy that so let's actually go here first see, because they are a bit entrenched all right always lovely when that happens try to get around these units. I'm sure that they'll still get supply, but again, for the Soviet Union, what counts is the destruction of the enemy units first and foremost. So, just gonna focus on Odessa, try to take that on the next turn here. And I'll start attacking just to lower those entrenchments, and I really don't care about the MPP so far. So that's uh, what's going on there. As for these guys, I do want to set them in. Okay, they're at manual. Okay, that's good. Let's get these guys over here first. Probably inflicting huge casualties. All right, taking down those units. I want to make the most out of the, my first attacks because they are going to be the most effective. And then after that, things start to becoming less and less effective with each attack. Mm, let's actually send these down to cross the river here already. And I need to be careful and see where I can employ my attacks in the best possible way. So taking Lvov is probably pretty challenging. I'll use the bombers first to lower their entrenchments a bit and their morale, so this attack is a lot better now. Okay, and I can still move them sideways, that's great. So I'll make sure to make enough space for my German units. The rolls are not really in my favor there. All right. Let's see, first and foremost, if we can dish out some damage like this. And now I don't really need that powerful of an attack there. So I can actually just get in there the Slovakian core. That should finish the job. The unit at Lvov was probably the most difficult there. Hmm, yeah, they're not even dealing any damage. But perhaps now? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Good. That will allow me to take... Shamizel. And... Get in that core. bombing run like that is possible again I might be able to stick it with the Italians but yeah let's move you into Lvov destroy that core And let's move as far as possible for now. Make sure to deal with that with the Italians. I'm going to take a look because I also want to see if I... Okay, there's no partisan activity over here. All of these spawn partisans, so I need to have garrison units in all of these areas. 
It seems like Russia is a lot smaller than it used to be for some reason. Uh, that's how it feels like to me. But I might be wrong on that. Although I don't think so. Use these guys to deal with that all the way up there and getting the HQ going. So that would pretty much be it for the army group south. Group center isn't actually even that big, but I'll still do what I must. I do have two panzers though, I might be able to swing some units. From the south, up north. That's a pretty poor attack. This breast is a good defensive fortress. All right. So definitely moving forward, shattering that core or that uh, HQ there. Then, going after the plants. And moving forward. Yeah, enemy contact. Quite a lot of damage on my unit, but it's a uh, second attack actually from my part. You already did attack, okay. And I'll use these to take care of that and then also attack over here in Bialystok after moving. Which uh, is pretty tough. They have yeah, two well established. Alright, let's actually go and attack here. Destroy that plane. I really want to destroy the bombers first and foremost. I have to be careful here too. I can't allow the enemy to go and take Mamel, for example. Uh, let's, yeah. let's move you up here. It seems like it's the toughest to actually establish myself up there. That's at least how it looks like. Come on. Do it like that. It might still try to go down there. Only tanks can get up there, but I don't. Hmm. Let's just try and break through Vilno first. And we can at least take care of that road up to Dagovpilsk. I think that would already be pretty reasonable for a first turn here. And I'll send these guys up, take care of those bombers. Maybe I can move here and still no. But I was very close to actually taking that. Maybe if I set these guys to ground attack mode. Still shot. Port. All right, thanks. All right. This is this is useless. I get it. 
You're not gonna get destroyed, and I'm only going to take damage. It's, uh, I got it again. All right. So uh, that's going to be some costly repairs for, well, pretty much something useless. But that's pretty much the progress we can make in the Soviet Union this turn. I guess that's not too much, but we're attacking them way ahead of schedule. So it's not surprising that I'm not 100% prepared for this attack, but... You know, you're, you're doing what you can, I guess, and... Uh, Yeah, let, let's upgrade these guys. Great. Okay, so that takes care of a Germany. Let's actually go to research. Because we actually do have a lot of research funding that we could increase. I'm going to go for logistics for now. Not really amphibious warfare. I'm not too interested in that, but... I guess I can go for ground attack weapons as well. Rocket weapons, again, not that interesting. Advanced subs is, I guess, still something that I want to pursue. And that's it for now. So German's going to stick with that. We've taken care of Africa. Maybe I can actually upgrade this core. Yes, I can. Excellent. Can't do anything with the other guys so far. Or don't want to. There we go. There was this one core here that I can actually operate. Not to Africa, but I guess it's going back here. Like I said before, that was actually a mistake. But uh, well, let's see if we can upgrade these guys as well. I guess we can. It's also pretty important for these garrisons to get infantry weapons level 1 because I desperately need these guys to be able to dish out some form of damage. Okay, there we go. Then, China. Still have a couple of things to do here. Let's upgrade you to... Not level 2, let's pull you back. I can also upgrade these guys for a bit. And while I can do that, I will upgrade them. There we go. I already said that I will upgrade all the garrisons that I can find. Okay, we had a couple of units that are already deployed previously. These guys are probably going to get ready later. Hmm, they could actually fly out there just in one go. But I'm not too interested in that, actually. I don't really want to send more fighters over to China. Actually, the amount of units that I want to send to China are, is going to decrease, as I actually think we have too many troops in China at the moment. I'm trying to get rid of some units in order to start preparing for other invasions out there. So, as for the Chinese as well, let's go for amphibious warfare level, uh, second level. And that's pretty much it. So, with all that said and done, I think that I am ready to ship it back to the Allies. And actually, let's. There's one last thing that I need to do. It's try to send these guys back to port. Maybe next turn I'll be able to repair some of these submarines and then uh, get them back out there. The people of the Soviet Union fear war with Germany. Well, as well they should. As well they should. With Yugoslavia surrendered and occupied by our forces, we should solidify our position in the area by adjusting some borders and setting up a new and friendly state in Croatia. Croatia's capital will be Zagreb, where, if you say yes, a Croatian garrison unit will deploy for service. Forming a Croatian state will cost 50 MPPs, though in the long run this costs will be offset by Zagreb's enhanced economic performance and the services of the Croatians. Would you like to adjust Yugoslavia's borders and form an independent Croatian state? Is both economically and militarily beneficial to say yes. As by doing so, you will gain an income and the Croatian garrison unit can be used against partisans of Yugoslavia. Other territorial adjustments that will come from saying yes are that Germany and Hungary will gain small portions of territory in northern Yugoslavia and the towns of Novi Sad and Ljubljana will go to Hungary and Italy respectively. Sure. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. So this one is actually... 
Yeah, so that part is divided. The new state of Croatia is formed in the Balkans, so that's being applied, <laughs> I guess, only in this part. Croatia joins the Axis. Excellent, excellent. And we get a garrison unit there. We'll use that for anti-partisan operations. Send one of those garrisons away. Yes. Okay, convoys start towards the USSR and Hitler's deputy, Rudolf Hess, flies to the UK to negotiate peace terms. Probably not the best idea. Yes, hitting streak in baseball. Not too useful. Again, we get a lot more MPPs right now, almost 500. And, you know, we're still working on the Africa Corps, at least the MPPs. Once that's done, we really start getting uh, things rolling for Germany there. Chinese national morale is boosted by the arrival of Soviet supplies, huh? What do you know? An armage. That's not too good for me. Okay, I'll zoom in a bit. We'll try to take Chongqing next turn. Might work. Probably gonna destroy another bunch of units in China, hopefully. Railing around a bunch of units as well. Again, my goal is to destroy these enemy units, not actually to take the cities. I mean, taking the cities is good, but destroying enemy units is better. Yeah. <laughs> Back up to 10, huh? They only have one fighter now, so that, that actually benefits me a lot. Unless they ship one from Britain. Could have happened, but... Unlikely. Oh, wow. That's actually really good for me. Not so much that, though. Okay, so they're really starting to kick it now in Eastern Africa. Police force just trying to get back because this uh, road is in real danger of being cut off. And once we've taken Chungking, all of these forces are pretty much doomed. We're very close to surrounding them. U.S. supply ships that sail for Vladivostok in the Pacific. And some partisan activity. Not too worrying. Let's just see what we can do out there. I think we have a pretty good shot at taking the Chinese capital now. They will have to ship, uh, ship it to another location and they will suffer again once more. Japan is advised to blockade Vladivostok. The US is shipping supplies to the Soviet Union via Vladivostok and we can prevent this by placing a naval unit in any of the marked hexes adjacent to Vladivostok. However, if we do this, the Soviet Union could respond by attacking and damaging our ships. Impeding the flow of supplies would also give Stalin the motive for going to war against us, so it may actually be better to let these supplies reach the USSR. Alternatively, we can stop supplies reaching the USSR via the Pacific by invading and capturing any of the following locations, Honolulu, Los Angeles, San Francisco, or actually Vladivostok. Of course. To ensure an Axis victory in a decisive conflict in the East, it would be advisable for us to send an expeditionary force to serve along our German allies. Given your approval, this force will consist of a headquarters unit and two corps, and it will cost us 400 MPPs at 40 MPPs a turn for 10 turns. It will deploy near Warsaw for service on the Eastern Front. Would you like to order the formation of this Italian expeditionary force? Yes. Now we get a garrison. Let's deploy that, and also an Italian garrison, which we can also deploy. All right, let's continue actually first with the war in China because I, uh, I don't know, I'm just always starting with China for some reason. I can swap these two. 
Now, if it can somehow not attack with the special forces, I might be able to take their capital. Ah, oh, I can already take it regardless. That's great. And let's move you in there. So the Chinese capital is taken. Again, I know this cost me, but I need to lower their entrenchments. Destroy it. Maybe I can still move. Probably not. No. But, alright. We took care of it. Nice. I'm very happy about that. And again, these forces are in serious danger of being cut off right now. I can't move unit in there, but that's not a problem. I'll actually move these guys back, as there's not really anything there for me. And both of these have to stay there. That's also fine. probably already take care of this if I can get a unit down there, which I can. Another enemy unit down, great. Let's move you in there. These guys back up. Still try to deal wherever I can. It's more important to me again just to repair these guys so that's pretty much it for china below send you in here these will transport over down here Again, I was going to take Bangkok and I will leave at least two armies up here in the north to start going for Rangoon and I'm getting actually some additional forces out there to also start swinging south and potentially try to take Singapore. I'll, I'll have to see how I'm going to deal with that there. But um, yeah, there are a couple of forces here which do need to move back. I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to send... I'm not going to send another HQ up there because I already have this one. So I'm going to need another HQ to start invading the Philippines. Yeah, that, that seems legit. And then these forces will try to facilitate that as well. And yeah, there are no other forces that I'm going to send out of, out of China for now though. I mean, this is their next location for their capital. So I think that indeed it will move from here up here and they will again operate from there. But again, they will have a lot less MPP and then after this it will actually get all the way up there. Hmm. Right, well, there are still a couple of things that I can do here. First of all, Upgrade all of these special forces. I guess I do have mobility level 1 now. So there are actually plenty of forces that I might upgrade. But for now at least the forces that are uh, positioned in these locations can be upgraded. And uh, I don't think I had any other ones. Uh, I guess up here. There we are. So, in order to start preparing for an attack, I guess starting from the next turn, I'm going to start moving towards Hawaii with uh, some of my forces. That's going to be quite challenging. I guess there's also Wake Island and Midway. But if I, if I can take Hawaii, then these shouldn't be that big of a problem. At least I think. But, but I'll see. 
Again, I'm not gonna do this and do that this turn. So for now, I just get to wait with these guys and just upgrade them for a bit while we still remain here. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do. And uh, we've actually taken Thailand now as well, so we'll ha see that seceded to us. Yeah, that's not great. I'm going to... Hmm... Like these forces are quite entrenched, but I don't think that the garrison can actually stand up against these armored units, whereas they can act probably stand against a core. So I'll leave it like this. Then some poor reinforcement. Uh, well. foresee too many great attacks but let's start here first lower their entrenchments it's most important this should be at zero entrenchment right now yeah and I guess at that point the tanks gotta do it they should be able to do it Okay, another core down. It's not the greatest placement, so I actually will have to move back, but just the fact that we got this it gives one supply, that's great. I mean, I don't see us going around that in any possible way, but I'm still fairly happy with the way things are going there. Oh. I guess we get to reinforce these. The enemy also is disinclined to move into either of those two spots but the real question becomes do i want to move forward with these both of these actually i don't think so i have this artillery here which is nice but i can't move back fast enough so i'm gonna wait at least one turn and this no, it's an allied port. I'm gonna move in here. And attack, actually. And then I'll... First reinforce them, and then I'll try to land here as well. These guys need to lose their entrenchment. But I... Yeah, I mean, I could land by amphibious transport. As well. Let's finally get these over here and I'll send these back. Okay, great. There's a bunch of things that I want to take care of f as well, but first let's go after Odessa. I know this core will destroy it, so I'm not too concerned. Let's take that. And Odessa will give us a nice boost in MPP. Right, let's I will have to see what I can do with my units up here before I start moving a unit into Krivoyrog. But I think for now it's very important to stay on this track. Can I bomb anything? No. Definitely using the strategic bomber in the cities. Okay, turn a pole. Taken care of. Great. Okay, move in there. Attack. Still move down south. But I want to wait on moving with those guys because I can move these first. 
And I'll be able to get further into Russia by doing this. So destroy that. Again, using the core units or the, yeah, the core units first. So we'll have to take it, just to take that territory. Still have all action points, but they have... Uh, an army over in Vinitsa and in Zhitomir. So they're not making it easy for us to actually get in there. I mean, we do have the tanks, but I think for first attack, we actually need the army for this. Let's actually see if I can use the core to wipe them out. I can still use the tank to attack here. Because... Two, five out of five. Let's move you down and I might be able... Never mind. thought I might be able to destroy these guys, but that's definitely not happening. Okay, German units up front. Like this. Let's take a look at partisan control. Nothing yet. All right. Hmm. I guess as for progress, we're not making the most, but you know, we've taken at least, yeah, we're pretty close to the Dnieper and we're still ahead of schedule, so. How much supply do they have? They should not have too much. I'm gonna send some Italian units to attack them first. Lower their entrenchment. Do the same with the garrison. So I can also send in an army and then destroy. And since I don't need any garrisons in Madlin or Warsaw, I can actually send up the garrison. So I can move further with the army scan. I'll probably not take Minsk this turn, but we'll see. It's not that bad of an attack. These guys aren't on uh, escort mode, which I guess they should. It, it doesn't matter too much. I'm actually surprised that they already have fighters out there that can really go to town, but yeah, it's not taking Minsk. I'll try to surround them. Cut them off from supply. So I have the potential to destroy them next turn and I actually have these uh, guys out there too. Let's go and send these out there. Right. Take that. Hmm. 
I mean, I really want to take Riga here, but they're again heavily entrenched. I guess I have no chance, choice but to just attack and send in uh, the next unit. Keep trying and hopefully. All right, I'm actually better off. Destroying the army here. Well, now it's here, and I will attack Riga again on the next turn. And yeah, so very slow progress in the Soviet Union so far. But I'm just, you know, keep I keep trying to destroy their armies. Eventually, things will work out for the better. Let's get all of these back up to 10. And let's finally take care of the submarines as well. So not only am I going to upgrade them, next turn I'm also going to repair them. And then afterwards I'll, I'll start sending them out again. I can't go into those ports, but go here upgrade all of the units that I have out here as well nah that's actually not too important let's see because as for anti-partisan units let's actually send these over there and you in here we don't need one in Zagreb, so we actually get a, f a free one now, which is great. I'll start sending the Italian ones as well. There we go. Excellent. It's probably no research that I can do for the Italians. I'll just wait with them. I mean, I'm at 100. So waiting there is probably for the best. Taking care of everything in Africa. Enemy doesn't really seem to be attacking here, which is exactly what I want. I'll just again dig in. And we've taken care of everything in Japan. So we only have the research left for the Germans. And not really interested in that. I'll go for long range aircraft. And I have 41. Right. Once again, let's ship it back to the enemy. I think. Right, the only thing I can do here is move you further, you as well. Italian units in reserve. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's go and purchase. Two more garrison units for the Italians because they can actually be used in Russia. Let's end the turn. And Chinese morale suffers from the loss of Chungking. Yeah, they will have to move that. Uh, and moving it to Lan Chao. Like I said, they would. Thailand surrenders. Excellent. Plundering 13 MPP. That's uh, great. 25 MPP from Chungking as well. Ooh. The fall of France enables Spain to export wo uh, Wolfram and other goods to Germany. Great. Industrial technology level one. All right. Things are looking up. Let's see what the Allies can throw at me. I'm still aiming for world domination here within 1945. We need to stop the Americans first and foremost from uh, de developing the, ad the uh, atomic bomb. So... USSR transfers industry from the Ukraine to the Urals. And the industry in the Ukraine is disrupted by that transfer. Fair enough. We'll just keep trying to destroy more units once again. And they seem to be retreating slowly and we're just going to advance. So I'm not too worried. Pretty close to Smolensk actually already. Now that we've take, we will take Minsk on the next turn, and then 
Smolensk is the next uh, obvious step. We're close to the Dnieper. I think we might even be able to take Kiev on the next turn. Probably not Nepopetrovsk, but I will have to take a look at that. Alright, fair enough. Hmm. It's very good that I have these defenses. Armored trade. Hmm. Yeah, I can't destroy these units most likely, but at least it will cost the enemies some points to repair them and things like that. Deploying your garrison unit there, huh? Uh, that's fine. All right. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. Which means that next turn. There is just some intelligence. And a submarine that gets to be deployed. And some paratroopers. All right, that's it for this episode. So I want to thank you for watching. I guess things went fairly well. We'll move on to the next capital in China here. While destroying most of these forces, still trying to move up. We've taken care of Thailand. That's going well. Taking care of that. Also advancing in Russia, really boosting the MPP for the Germans. Pretty much going to take Riga and Minsk, surely next. Hope to take Kiev and Nepopetrovsk as well. We'll be advancing in Africa, hopefully, although supply in this part is really poor, so I really need to get back. That Oasis might provide some supply soon, at least I hope. Um, yeah, so in Africa it's really going to be a, more of a or reorganization back towards these lines here trying to attack the enemy forces and out here yeah, not gonna do a whole lot we'll just get to see I mean uh, we're doing quite well so far so I'm uh, yeah I'm excited to continue actually and if we take a look we can actually see indeed that we've taken over quite a, a big portion of the map already Either way, thanks for watching. Do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you on the next episode where we'll continue our advancements in Russia and China. So thanks for watching. Take care. And I will see you all in the next episode.